everyone and welcome back to my channel. Today, as promised, I'm going to show you how to make this swan. Now, I already showed you the video. I already showed you the video on how to make these. Now, the size that I've made, you're going to need 230 of these little lock-in pieces of whatever colour that you've decided to use. So I'm going to set my little basket there. So I will put in the description the amount that you need for the bodies the, and the parts as well as telling you. Around the body, it's going to be six rows and you need 24 pieces of these in each row around the body. You need 21 for the wings for each wing. The tail is only six pieces. You start with three, then two, then one. And the neck and the head, which is, you can move it around like this gently. It, it is manoeuvrable, so you can manoeuvre it in and move it around a little bit like that. Now, this is quite a small size. You can double or even triple the amount of these pieces you need and make a really nice big table centerpiece for a wedding. I've put some little diamantes on the front just to give it a little bit of bling. But once you practice this, you can make these smaller. You will get tidier as you make them and you will get tidier as you join all your parts together. Now this is the very first time I've done one of these. So it's a lot easier than it looks. So let's get this little project done. So I've made up some little bundles here. I've got 24 in this one and 24 in that one because I found the easiest way to do this is to work from two bundles because as you're building it, you're going to end up, you're going to start with two rows. So what I'm going to show you first is the basics. The bit that's like this, with these, oops, with these little holes, pockets, these are your locking parts. When you fold it and you have this little part here, make sure it's facing down the way like that. So when you open it, this little flaps up this way and that's the right way. Okay, so hold it in your hand, just open it and check it looks like that. Now take one, take one from this bundle. So your first two you're taking from this bundle and put them together. Now this is the first row. Now take one from your other bundle because this is going to be for the second row. Now what you're going to do is these center little pockets, you're going to use this one to lock these two together. So just push it in, down into the little pockets of that one, and it does that. So you get this is row one, and this little one is row two. So what you need to do now is take another one from this bundle, make sure it's the right way up, just with your little legs down this way. It is a little bit fiddly, but you'll get used to it. Take one from your other bundle and then lock that one and down into the side of that one. So if you're doing this along with me, don't worry if it's a little squinty, you will get used to it. So that should got it locked together like that. So you're using the little pockets of your first row to lock in the second. I'm going to zoom in a little bit. There we go. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to do that again. So we take one from this bundle, that one belongs to that one. Make sure it's the right way around. And then take one from your other bundle and lock them together. So what you're going to do is you're going to use the pocket from that one 
and the first pocket from that one and just slip it in like that and lock it together. Now that's as you use one tube, we've used four parts from our first row and three of our second. Now what we're going to do is you're going to continue to do that. Just lock them together all the way around until you've used up all the ones in this bundle and you should end up with your first two rows. It looks a little strange to begin with, but just keep at it. Now, I'm going to show you again how to start it. Now, when you pick your piece up, make sure your little flaps are going down that way. So you're using the pocket. That keeps it the right way. So you need two from this bundle again. One from this bundle. And then you're going to lock it through that hole and that one so it's the this one on that and the first one on that and you just use this one to lock it together so it just goes together like that and then we'll just attach it to that and that just slides in now that's how it takes a little bit of time but once you get used to it You'll get neater and neater and you'll be able to use make lots and lots of different types of animals. So I'm just going to carry on just joining these two together, these first two rows, and then we'll put our next row on the top of it. So once I get around to the end, I'll show you how to join it. So I'm going to speed it up so you can see. So this is the last one, so I just put it beside that. Now when you're building, you will find your own way to hold this and you will realise if you've put the paper in the wrong way, you just turn it around. Now this is what we've got, this is our first two rows of 24. Now what we're going to do is I'm going to join this one to this one. Now we've got our two rows joined together. Don't worry that it looks a little bit odd and a little bit out of shape. You will be able to push it all in when you get the next bundle on. Now what you're going to do with your next bundle is, so we've got our first row in here. This is our first row in the centre and then our second row. Now what we're going to do is, we're going to start taking the next row and you're going... So what you're going to do is we're going to start joining these rows. So what you need to do is 
these two separate parts here, you need to join these two and lock them together. You need to lock each one of these together now. So as you can see, it is a little, it's floating around a little bit on its own. So you're going to join this one to this one. So you're going to lock those into place and then do the next one. Just work your way along this way now because we're going to lock these in. That's around the wrong way. So now we just need to put the last one on of our third row. So just pop them together like that. Now it has been a little bit fiddly, but you will be able to push all these in nice and tight once you've got it done. Now as you can see, it is going to start to come up like this. And this is starting to make the body of the swan. As you can see here. Now this one's all been pushed in nice and tight. Now you'll be able to do that once you've got the rest of your rows on. So we've got three rows done. Now all you need to do now, it's going to get easier as you go along. Just grab a big bundle of your... If you've sorted them out into bundles, it's up to you. I just take them from the basket now. So... All we have to do is continue until we've got six rows. So we've got three here, as you can see, one, two, three. So we've got one ring in the centre, one ring here, and a ring going here. Now all you have to do again is just start joining. You can see the separation a bit more clearly now. Now you just need to join these together, lock these ones together. So it's sort of like you're staggering it as you're going along. And you will see if you're getting it right or if you're getting it wrong. Because if you put it on the wrong way, say for instance like that, you can see right away it's not fitting and it's not right. So you just turn it around. And then we're just going to work our way around this way. Joining these together again. To do the neck, what I did was, I started with four. Because as you can see, I've got the neck tapering up. Just put four of your little pieces on. So we're going to join these two, these two, these two and these two. So we're going to take one, two, three, four. You've got to do five to get four on. So we're going to put four pieces on here. Make sure I get it around the right way. So we're going to join those two, so that's one piece. And I'm going to join these two together here. That's two. I'm going to join these. That's three. And then my fourth peg goes on here. So I've got my four here, but don't worry, we'll tidy all this up. You can just push all these in. As you get better at this, 
your pieces will get better, your shape's going to get better. And it is quite manoeuvrable as well. So don't be afraid to pull it out to push your parts in together. So don't be afraid to pull it about. So we've got our neck piece here. We've got our four pieces on for the neck. Now we're going to go down to three pieces. So we're going to do these two. Join these two. And then the next two. And that's going to give us three or six little points here. So now what we're going to do is we're going to make this into two. I'm going to put two on. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to put one on here. And then I'm going to slip one on top of these two and on top of these two. So we're going back to using two pieces. So one and two. It's on the wrong way. And then I'm going to put one in the middle here. And then I'm going to put two again on these ends. So what you're doing is you're incorporating this one and this one together. And then this one and this one together. And then we're going to put one in the middle to join these two here. And then one here to join these two and one to join these two. Now this is how you make the neck. So I'm just going to do that until I've got all of these 30 pieces done. Now once you've got all your pieces on for your swan's neck, you can fiddle around with it. It's quite manoeuvrable as you can see. Now you take your little orange piece and just pop that on these last two here. These little ends, just try if you can and tuck them in as well. It's a little bit fiddly this end. So you're going to fit your little orange piece right around those. And that's going to make your little swan beak. Now it doesn't look much like a swan until you actually put your little eyes on it. You can use gems to put eyes on it. 
You can make the neck longer if you want. Now, I've used 38 pieces for the neck, but you can use more if you want the neck, the swan's neck, to be longer. Now, once you've done the neck, what you're going to do is you need to put your wings on. So I've got my 21 pieces for the wing. So what we're going to do is we're going to put six pieces on and then five, then four, then three, then two, then one, up until we don't have any left. So what we need to do is to make sure that we've got it spaced out the correct amount. So what I'm going to do is, this is part of the neck, so I'm going to go with my first full peg and then what I'm going to do is I'm going to put six along here. So I'm going to connect six. That's one. and six. So when I go back the way, I'm just going to connect five. So that's one, five. So as you can see, the wing's starting to form. So now what I'm going to do is, I'm going to go one, two, three, I'm going to put four on. One, two, four. So it's six, five, four, three, two, one. You go all the way down until you use up all. Just build up your wing. It's two. Three. It's four. And then we're going to do three. Join those three. Now, you, once you've built these, you can keep these pieces and take it all apart and then build something else. And then two. And then one. Now that makes your wing. Now what you need to do is use your 21 on the other side. So do, do the same thing. So start here. I'm just going to grab a little bundle of them. So there we go, that's our other wing. So all we need is six pieces for the tail. And you just go to the very end. Now you can start wriggling this around and get it all out into the way that you want it.
you do three, then two, then one. And that's your little tail done. And that is your swan complete. Now all you need to do is put a little eye on it. I just used a little pen. I just drew a little line. Put a little circle through it. You just put a little eye on that side, a little eye on the other side, and that's you. That's you got your swan complete. The more pieces you make, the better that you're going to get at this. Now, this is just the second time I've actually made a swan. So, it's actually, it's not too bad. I'm really proud that I've done it. And there are lots of other little animals and things that you can make with these. And if you double up the numbers of it, you can make these much, much bigger. But I first try at this, I think I've done not too bad with it. And I really, really like doing these. So, as per usual, all I have to do now is say thank you to the amazing 2,300 and odd people who have subscribed to my channel. Thank you all very, very much. I do appreciate it. And also to all the people who just watch the videos, even though you're not subscribing, you're still watching them and it still gives me a little boost to keep on doing this. Now, please give this a little try. If you want to leave a comment, then just leave a comment at the bottom of the video. And please feel free to come and join my Crafty Facebook page, which is free to join. It's called Crafty Twints, and everybody's welcome. Now, I'm going to throw a last little challenge out to Sandra. <laughs> I haven't mentioned Sandra in the past few videos that I've done, but go on, Sandra. Try this. Try it with different paper. I'm going to challenge you to make a peacock because I have seen a peacock made and it's all beautiful, beautiful colours. So give it a little try. And once again, I'd just like to thank you all for joining me today. So take care and I'll see you again for the next tutorial. Goodbye.